The soil texture triangle is a graphical representation of the proportions of sand, silt, and clay in a soil. It is a valuable tool in soil science for classifying and identifying different soil types based on their particle size distribution. The triangle is used to determine the soil texture based on the percentages of sand, silt, and clay in a soil sample. Here are the key features of the soil texture triangle. Apexes. The triangle has three apexes, each representing one of the three soil particle types, sand, silt, and clay. Axis. The triangle has three axes, each corresponding to the percentage of one soil particle type. The sum of the percentages for sand, silt, and clay at any point within the triangle always equals 100%. Regions. The triangle is divided into different regions or textural classes. The position of a soil sample within the triangle determines its textural class. Textural classes. The major textural classes include sandy soils, predominantly sand, loamy soils, balanced mix of sand, silt, and clay, clay soils, predominantly clay, silted soils, predominantly silt. Intermediate classes. In addition to the major classes, there are intermediate classes such as sandy loam, silty clay, etc., representing soils with varying proportions of sand, silt, and clay. Determining soil texture. To determine the soil texture of a sample, the percentage of sand, silt, and clay is measured. A vertical line is drawn from each percentage value on the respective axis to the base of the triangle. The point where the lines intersect within the triangle indicates the soil texture. The soil texture triangle is a practical tool for soil scientists, agronomists, and farmers to understand and classify different soils. It provides insights into soil water holding capacity, drainage, aeration, and nutrient retention, all of which are crucial factors in agricultural and environmental management. Soil textural information is often used in conjunction with other soil properties to make informed decisions about crop selection, irrigation, and soil amendments.